Uh, the game of the weekend, arguably, Kawhi Leonard and the KD Suns. Clips won. And um, Russell Westbrook. they won because of Russell Westbrook and Mr. Kawhi Leonard. And uh, you know, 110, 115. Well, listen to this. Is this cynical to say they would have blown out the Suns if Russell Westbrook could hit a shot? Yeah. Well, yeah. Was it 3 and 19? <laughs> yeah, 3 and 19. See, that's where I stand is unfortunately Russell Westbrook can't hit shots. Um, I don't think that the Clippers will be able to sustain this success with a three. But the thing is, Russell Westbrook won't shoot 3 and 19 every night. And he still made two clutch free throws. Uh, Mr. Arjun, as Nick knows and Cyril knows now, he didn't. We were both flabbergasted. He made both free throws. But, yeah, huge block against Devin Booker. I'm going to agree with Skip Bayless's tweets last night. I think this was a, a wake-up call for the Phoenix Suns. Uh, I Maybe now it's a seven-game series. I still don't think Phoenix – if it goes to seven games, I think – I actually think the Lakers look like they're going to win the NBA Finals right now. But, like, no PG is – What about the Denver Nuggets? Yeah. Did you no. see Jokic's footwork? Yeah, dude. Did you see Michael oh, Porter yeah. Jr.? That back is springy. It is. He does have a springy back. He started it right away and got called for the BS over the back foul. Yeah, that, that back's looking pretty springy. But this is also just like Lakers Grizzlies. This actual, or sorry, Kings Warriors. This might be the best first round series this is probably the i got a response from this from my boy geo on twitter but like this is probably the best game one weekend of the first round of the playoffs i can remember in the longest of times because it's usually not a snooze fest but it's usually a little bit more i mean half the players got hurt a lot of players got hurt and we'll talk about Giannis and tyler hero soon um, hot take. I saw Ciro respond to this on Twitter. Not a huge fan of. I think we saw very good logic for uh, getting rid of charges, which they'll never do. But charges are quite annoying. Bring back hand checks. Bring back hand checks. Yeah, if, you're gonna get, if you're gonna get rid of the draw, drawing a charge rule, let me hand check. Yes, definitely. But what I want to say real quickly about the the Clippers and the Suns. I think the Suns are more top heavy. Chris Paul. Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, DeAndre Aiden. I think those four players are better than Kawhi Leonard, Russell Westbrook, and Paul George. Like, but then you go to the bench, Bowens Highland, Terrence Mann, Mason Plumley, Nick Batum, whatever you want off the bench compared to like Torrey Craig mm. and Cameron Payne, and Landry Shamet, and Jock Landell. Dude, yeah, I'm a you know, I'm not the biggest Landry Shamet fan. He didn't do as worse as he could have yesterday but you can't have 10 total bench points actually ever hopefully campaign comes back because he's a little he's been warming up i heard okay that's great um ish wainwright you know former rap legend uh preseason summer league legend uh yeah, I, I agree with the depth, and that's why I don't think Phoenix, especially if this series goes to seven games, I think they'll just be absolutely toast. I think they'll be way too tired. But, yeah, man, I, I don't know. Kawhi, Kawhi KD was awesome. Kawhi was locked on to Kevin Durant. Russ was locked on to KD in the first quarter. Um, Russ played great defense, but I can't have – Kevin Durant taking 15 shots, Russell Westbrook taking 19. I don't think that will continue. I think that we've seen the end of it. And I also want to say Chris Paul needs to start hitting those shots. And I think Chris Paul will start hitting those shots. But I think that'll be an overlooked statistic is, uh, well, he went two of eight. And I know he's old. And I know he did a good job rebounding and distributing the basketball as he always does. But, like, I'm going to need more than two of eight from Chris Paul, especially late in the game where you have teardrops that, we, he's always made so do you think the suns have enough depth or is the depth gonna be something because you know you're relying on like tory craig and josh kogi ish wainwright as like your wing rotation then jock landau bismack biombo then you got yourself karen Payne, Land- landry shaman and like you said karen Payne is yeah i don't think so 
I don't I don't think so at all. But to win this series, yeah, especially without Paul George and just kind of the dysfunctionality of the Clippers. We saw it last night. They turned the ball over like five times in the final five of six. From like the six minute mark to the one minute mark, Clippers turned the ball over like five times. Uh that's just been the recurring theme for like not only their whole season, but especially since the acquisition of Russ or just more so post All Star break. I yeah, for the Suns though, for like a finals run, I don't think that they're quite there. We have this conversation all the time, like, you know, the buyout market's cool and all, but like, you know, how much is Terrence Ross really gonna play? What he played like two minutes last Terrence Ross, four minutes last night. I don't think it's gonna be a huge um impact but i'm still running with the suns in this series it's just definitely i think we agreed zero before it was going to take six games at least no i yeah no completely i i think when i look at this current situation i think Kawhi, and especially that they've ruled out paul george for the series yeah unfortunate i think it's just a a fact of I think the team plays better as a team, the Suns. I think the, the Clippers have more talent at their disposal if you count their bench. I just can't get behind Russell Westbrook and Kawhi being the two guys that beat me in seven, like four times. Yeah. I can't. And that's no disrespect to them. I have I more faith. From uh, Powell and Gordon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would need such a consistent effort from the Clippers in every game, which I haven't been able to see in them for four years. And even yeah. with the upgrades to the roster this year, they have not been a consistent team. But what I will admit is that this Clippers team beats the Suns team. I will take the Clippers to the favorite to win the West. But wow. I, I don't think the Clippers can beat this team because I think the top four players on the Suns are better than the top four players on the Clippers. And they're more consistent for the consistent for the Clippers to win all these games. I think their bench needs to show out every game, which I don't have faith in that. Yeah. What do you think of Nick? I I was just I you know it's I took my first deep dive into the Phoenix Suns, um, just box score, just looking at their roster. Um, and you know what? I don't think this team could win a championship. Uh, personally. I, I, I if you if you look at the you're gonna have to score more than 10, 10 points off the bench. Yeah. Um and I didn't realize you know, I, I Jock Landell, that's not a real human. I don't think that's a serious guy right there. <laughs> I, you can't have if Landry Shamit is your most minute contributor off of the bench, you're fucked. Yeah. It's not going to work. I don't, yeah, I'm going to go Suns, no chance. I'm just based off of the Nick Bavaro, look at the box score, look at the roster. I don't think there's a chance they can. Wait, Um, Nick, are you a Boston Red Sox fan from Chicago? No. Uh Oh. (laughs) I was Um, at, uh, I was at, I was at Patty's like during the first week of baseball and I was watching the Cubs play and this Red Sox fan. Like I also found out the Cubs tried to change their uniform in the seventies and they have like a blue bear with like yellow eyes and it's like called the seventies Cubs and people fly those flags. It's like an alternate look. Did you know that? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's. I just found out about it because when I think of the Cubs, I think of the sea, but supposedly in the seventies, they tried to do like a little blue bear kind of looks like the grizzly bear, but with like yellow eyes. Yeah. I think they wear those sometimes or they used to a little bit right well i saw like, oh. i saw a flag and i was like what the fuck yeah is that? my friend yeah. goes oh that's this 1970s chicago cubs I'm like that's not a cubs logo he's like yeah they, they like gave me the spiel i was like baseball <laughs> like, but wow. yeah that made me I, really want to go to a lids today that like this conversation made me want to drive to a lids and i think that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> Wait, is 